thank God we got her inside because if that plane had blown, we'd see fire trucks and police crawling over the place. So how do you know the plane has already blown up somewhere along the other side? Because most assassins, once they can enter their rooms, they never change the formula. And these two specialize in blowing up things on the ground. Now what are we wasting time for? We're already past six planes driving in here. We should be out not fighting. No, no, no not from what Robert said when he called and described the plane to me. And that's it right over there. You're right. That's it. And by the way, we're not going to defuse anything. It's going to go up. I, I thought we came here to save Anna and Robert, not to watch them. Right. We are going to save them. Don't, don't worry about it. We are going to save them. But that bomb has got to blow. I've got to make Elaine and her people think that they've killed Anna and Robert. Well, it's quite a risk with Anna's like this thing, and Robert's as well, of course. We should be out there now defusing it. Look, I want to save their life more than one day at a time. Well, it sounds like a pretty complicated idea to me, and complications become dangerous when you're dealing with killers. Look, you're the one that's insisted on coming along on this ride, right? Yeah, you're damn right. I want to just, come out just back off, because I told you before we left poor Charles, I didn't want you interfering. Now, this is my job, and I know how to do it. And besides, I know a few things about Kirk Morgan and Fowler that you don't. Such as? All of their previous airport bombings. When the plane blew up, all of the passengers were inside, strapped into their seats with their seatbelts. They had no idea what was coming. Well, that's what we were doing. No, I said all of the passengers were inside, not the pilots. Well, that goes to prove that the pilots were in on it. Exactly. So that's going to give us our edge. I think you're blowing smoke. We should be able to get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. ready to fly. You folks didn't have any bags, did you? Hmm? No, we're traveling rather light this time around. Your idea? Yes. Come on. Should be there fast enough, please. Is yours? Yes, I do. Okay. Lovely. These seatbelts, new. Government regulations. We replace them quite often. Really? Oh, comforting, I think. Mm. With a 300 mile radius calling for increasing turbulence along the upper tier of the state. Couldn't have been comforting. The weather doesn't sound too comforting. Don't worry, this aircraft's got a great heater. Fly over to Bible anyway, can't we? Of course we can go over it. However, this aircraft loves bad weather. You won't even know what's happening. You must be out of your bloody mind, darling. We should go in there right now, neutralize that pilot, and get Anna and Robert out of there safely. Yeah, Duke, you're getting very close to being more trouble than you're worth. If you won't shut up and stop bugging me, I'm going to end up neutralizing you. Now, the pilot is still inside the plane. The man is not about to blow himself up, so they're safe. And how can you be so sure? Because it's my job to be sure. So I got that folding knife again. Yeah. All right, good. Open it up. Start cleaning your fingernails and relax. Here we go. You smell something. I think you are, sir. No. Something else. I can't quite put my finger on it. Don't leave space in me, Phil. But I left the navigation charts in the car. Oh, well, I guess we could go, but who knows to where. You got it. I'll be back in just a sec. You ever hear of a pilot leaving an aircraft with the engine running? The chemical I just smell with a bomb here, something. Get that the temperature down. 
This thing's gonna go off any minute. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Listen, you want to make a career out of saving my skin? <laughs> well, I love it, Father. <laughs> Are you two I guys are getting pretty time. maudlin' you for me. And yeah. it's sound to sleep. Let's get the hell out of here. Get the right yeah. idea. Come on. Hey, Anna, wake up, honey. Then. I could have screwed everything up badly. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, come on, don't forget it. 
You need a whole police and fill in and everything she needs to know so she answers all the questions the right way. Yeah, she's probably still back at the car. I better hurry. Robin? Right. Yeah. Well, then... I never thought we'd get to see that again. No. Help her buds when they're in trouble. And how this little princess. I am not going to tell you how beautiful you are, because it'll just stay in your mind. My <laughs> name is Oh, and we really have to get them out of here. Yeah, and that'll be close, yeah. too. Yeah. And these, these are a little swinging for the Asian quarters. We're not talking about high fashion here. Oh, okay. But, uh, Oh, this is definitely my style. Okay. There we go. Here we go. Oh, here's mine. That's it. Thank you. Hey, little princess. Come on. Thank you. Hey, little princess. Come on. Thank you. Hey, little princess. Come on. Thank you. Hey, little princ